Uh, well, that's the word coming in from Thermax. Good numbers this time around, and the stock is up one and a half percent. But let's move on. Skipper Limited is the stock on our radar. It's a company that manufactures steel pipes, uh, poles, scaffoldings, etc. And uh, it's a good quarter that the company has reported this time. Sharan Bansal, the director of Skipper, joins us on the phone line um, uh, from Kolkata to talk about that. Sharan, hi. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. You know, you had a great year in FY15. It was a, an income growth of almost 25%. The margins up about 500 basis points. Do you think you can replicate that performance in FY16? Good morning, Lata and Sonia. Hi. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a, I would say a 500 basis point is definitely uh, quite ambitious, but uh, uh, definitely we do expect uh, uh, imp continuous improvement in the bottom lines and which is really what the company's uh, focus is. Mm -hmm. In line with that, you've seen that uh, our first quarter numbers, we've seen shown a uh, 50% uh, quarter on quarter growth uh, in profits. Mm -hmm. So certainly, uh, you know, uh, and this is a great time for uh, companies in the power transmission sector which has been identified as one of the fungi sectors in the power industry. So what is your order book currently and what kind of revenue visibility are you sitting on? So we are, our current order book is approximately 2400 crores okay. and uh, roughly about 45% of this is made up of uh, international orders. The rest is domestic. Mm -hmm. uh, we see a good uh, uptake in uh, both uh, international and domestic orders this year. In fact, uh, domestic uh, power ministry has envisaged the bidding of roughly 1 lakh crores in this financial year itself. So this is quite a great time for power transmission companies. Okay. So uh, you said your order book is at the moment 2,400 crores. Correct. Uh, what do you think it will grow to? And what is your capacity utilization? Are you at 100% now? Uh, so these orders will really mean that you have a larger visibility in terms of time of orders? Yeah. So uh, our order book uh, gives us a visibility of about two to two and a half years. Uh, at 2,400? At 2,400, okay. uh, we expect it to at least grow by about uh, 40 to 50 percent uh, uh, in this financial year, looking at the huge uh, market mm. opportunity. So you will and increase capex? Uh, well, uh, fortunately, our uh, company doesn't require too much capex now going forward because we already have a lot of the fixed infrastructure available with us. So we only see very incremental capex uh, going forward. Now, if your order book is going to rise by 40, 50 percent, as you say. Right. Uh, will you be able to simply expand revenue because you have more work to do? You're already uh, growing. I mean, the current uh, revenue growth itself is 26%. Right. Is that the CAGR or will it be even better, like, say, 30% CAGR? We are, we are target, companies targeting at least a growth of about 25% plus this year. 25% growth this no, year? I know that's okay. your target. I'm only asking if it can be even better since you think the order position is so good. Uh, well, overall in the company, I expect that with the capacities, uh, uh, the way they are and, uh, and the capacity which we are going to be adding, 25% uh, uh, plus would be a good target to take. Okay. Uh, you did mention earlier on that you have a target of 3,700 crores of a turnover by FY19. Uh, can you tell us how much of this will come from exports? Because I understand that you have a presence in you know, various African and European markets. That's correct. In fact, our major market is uh, South America, okay. which is a relatively unpenetrated uh, 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 market there. And, uh, you know, uh, if you're looking at our total top line uh, growth, uh, as of now, exports form uh, roughly last year, they only formed about 15% of our top line. Mm -hmm. But uh, once uh, the ideal uh, target which the company is taking is that the export should form at least 45 to 50% of our top line. So uh, if I look at TND turnover uh, to grow to about 2400 crores in the next three years, mm -hmm. then at least 50% of that should come from exports. So will that mean better blended margins for the company with higher Certainly. exports? Absolutely. So yes, currently you're at about 16%, I think. Uh, uh, yes. How much could you grow to in the next one year? Exports definitely give us at least another uh, couple, of, couple of hundred points uh, additional margins. Okay. Margins, uh, actually you are one of the few companies which has reported a slight shrinkage of margins, uh, uh, Sharon. Uh, I mean, aren't your raw material costs falling? Shouldn't it be uh, an improvement in margins? Uh, no, I mean, uh, the margins are in fact uh, in line with... Uh, Last year, in fact, bottom line has grown by 50% because of the lower impact of uh, uh, depreciation uh, and interest. Uh, so I think... Uh, and your EBITDA is standing at, EBITDA margin, that is, is start standing at 14.1 compared to 14.9. Uh, 
my point is with raw material prices the way they are should we see that improve to 15 16 whatever mm-hmm. our our most of our projects are with the escalation deescalation clauses so oh, okay so uh, you pass it on we don't uh, we generally have passed on uh, both in terms of decrease as well as increase okay uh, so raw material prices don't have that much of an impact okay. on our uh, bottom line Fair But, uh, overall over the, uh, because of the greater uh, export business and because of the greater uh, capacity utilization as well as the lower impact of uh, interest and de- uh, depreciation mm. we expect that margins should continue to the bottom line that should definitely improve further all right we leave it at that thank you very much sharan for joining us uh, with all those details on your company and its earnings that's uh, skipper up about 1 and a half percent of those numbers we'll take a break on that note uh, still ahead punjab national bank did not report any incremental stress in fact the incremental bad loan fell is the trend improving for psu banks 